Inflation extended its cooling streak in July, helped by lower prices across different categories, travel tours, passenger vehicles, electricity, clothing, and footwear. It's definitely good news for businesses, for households, and for the Bank of Canada. That's the lowest it has been in over three years. But economist James Orlando says it might not feel like relief because it's a comparison to last July, when the inflation picture looked much different. Everything looks a little bit more rosy just because last July was such a shock in prices. And this reprieve on paper comes after years of price increases well above the target 2%. One area that remains a financial drain, shelter. It doesn't mean we're going to get relief. It doesn't mean that you're uh, mortgage costs are going down. It doesn't mean that your rents are going down. It really just means that the pace of increase is easing. Mortgage expert Penelope Graham is one of many who says this paves the way for another quarter point interest rate cut from the Bank of Canada on September 4th. And that's just to start. Three more cuts for the remainder of the year, September, October and December. Likely another three to four cuts to come in 2025. Economist Toon Nguyen says the job market is softening, solidifying the need for more cuts. Over the past few months, we've seen unemployment rising, especially among younger people, those who are entering the workforce for the first time. The American Central Bank is widely expected to start cutting its benchmark interest rate in September too, which spells some relief for fixed rate mortgage holders up for renewal. Those mortgages are influenced by the bond market and the Fed's decisions more than our central bank. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.